on Chase Tail TV today. We're headed up to the North Shore. We are on a sponsor trip on the Celtic Race. Yes. We got, got the guys from yeah. Gama Gods and Spro <laughs> yeah. giving out some nice little goodie bags, all sponsored with all your latest tackle that we're gonna be using? Oh yeah, absolutely. So what are we gonna be using here today? All right, we got? we got, of course, the Gamakatsu hooks. I mean, you can't go you can't go fishing without gamis. And then uh, we got several different styles, bait holders, octopus hooks, uh, also some shiner hooks. And then, uh, of course, uh, Spro swivels too. We got the three-way swivels and the small power swivels. And they are so, powerful little swivels, that's for sure. Oh yeah. But the size, it's amazing. Absolutely, and then, um, for some of the newer stuff that we have are the uh, squid tails here, okay. and we've got some small ones for your teasers, and we've got uh, some for your droppers here. The neat thing about squid tail is, uh, like a uh, an ounce squid tail drops about like a one and a half ounce uh, bucktail because the squid is actually not as buoyant as the uh, as the natural bucktail fibers. Okay. So we did a we did a one ounce there, and uh, Captain Desi was telling me one and a half ounce was the size. So. I did the uh, the glow, the crazy chartreuse, and the one and a half, and did some two ounce uh, chrome silver, and a, a one ounce chrome pink, and a, a two ounce uh, chrome blue. So we should be good to go. <laughs> I was actually going to ask you about these new colors. It's like these, yeah. uh, what is it, psychedelic, whatever yeah, it is? Yeah, 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 that's what we're going for. <laughs> well, you know, the thing about it is, you know, we, we put all these different things on our lures for flash. Yeah. You exactly. know, we, we like on our teasers and everything, we, we'll put like a little piece of plastic. You got like a little mylar strip. Yeah, yeah, you, you got see. the mylar strip. So I think it's just something that uh, grabs a fish's attention more sure. than anything. Absolutely. So. Well, we're going to give it a shot today. I'm rigged up right here. I went with the white silver. Yeah. Try it out. I'll throw either a gulp or a uh, fat cow. Fat cow actually is part sponsor yes. the trip today yes. as well. Yeah. So we'll maybe throw a fat cow strip on here, see how it goes, and hopefully we get some big fluke today. Yeah, man. Hey, this will be my first fluke too, by the way. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Let's make it happen then. Yeah, we are. So right now we're in the wheelhouse we're with Captain Des of the Celtic Quest fishing fleet. So we're on the Celtic Grace right now. Yeah. Right? So you do have two boats. Yes, the Celtic Quest is uh, the sort of what everyone knows my company as a Celtic Quest fishing fleet is okay. what, what we go by. But uh, I got this boat that we're on right now two years ago, and this one's called the Celtic Race. Okay. So Celtic Fleet now. The Celtic Fleet. Yes. And today so. we're going to be basically targeting a fluke. We know that. And what are some of the things yep. we're going to be doing as well as that? Uh, I think today mainly because of who we have on board and everyone really wants to go fluking. We got some great guys from all the different fishing mm -hmm. magazines and Spro and everything. So they all want to try out their fancy uh, <laughs> New rigs and, yes. and all that. So uh, this time of year up here, the fluking is great. We get a ton of uh, sand eels that come up on all the shoals mm -hmm. and stuff here. So we'll fish right on the beach here along the coast. There's several main areas. Today we're going to go down uh, the beach quite a ways. That's where the best uh, volume of fish has been. So okay. uh, we're gonna head down east a ways and then up on the sand shoals that the, where the sand eels are. And gotcha. that's where the fluke are attracted to this time of year. Once the water warms up a bit, the sand eels thin out. And that's kind of the end of our good fluke run up here. Okay. That's usually sometime in July. That'll start to peter out. You start to get a lot of small fish that move in. And then uh, we switch our gears there and go sea bass fishing gotcha. and uh, bottom fishing and, and wreck fishing and things like that for the rest of the season. Hey Joe, so today we're using the jig and gel. We're applying it to the jig strips okay. and we got a high-low setup. We got two spro bucktails over here and I'm going to show you how to put this on. But first, you got to smell this stuff. Ready? I'll give it a shot. Maybe put some behind the ears. God, oh my God. <laughs> That's really potent. That's potent. I That's think the, really strong. I think the fish are going to like it too. Holy cow, is that strong? Oh my God. So we got the high-low set up here. We got a spro bucktail on the top and one on the bottom. I'm just gonna slip this one on. We got the, it's just on the four inches. It's the fork tail. And what I'm gonna do here, we got a new product that we're coming out with. It's called Jigging Gel. It's actually a scent that works perfect with the strips. And you're just gonna squeeze a little bit on and then take your finger and spread it on. Just and like that's that. Stick right there. And that's gonna stick just like that. And that's gonna stay on for a bunch of casts. So you're not gonna have to reapply Ooh, that for man. probably about a good 15, 20 casts. Really? Yep. 
I'm gonna definitely give this a shot. I, I can't believe how strong this is though. Oh yeah. They're definitely gonna smell that. And that's the squid. Out. Wait until you smell the menhaden. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> So right now we're at slack tide. It's really hot, really still conditions. The boat's not moving. So what you want to do is you're going to make your bait work for you. So simply, when you have conditions like this, just flip up, give a nice little cast, get it out, let it hit the bottom. Okay, just got to the bottom, crank it. Now I'm going to cause my own drift here. So just take it, pop it back, take a couple cranks in, working it back. And so I just keep doing this repeatedly when there's no drift. This Dioproteus rod I'm using has tremendous backbone in it too. I mean, I'm working the edge of the boat right here, just circling it, kind of almost like you do for musky. I'm getting quite a few hits doing it this way. But when you feel the hit, man, I tell you, the backbone in this rod, it drives the hook home. Great little setup. Got it matched with Alexa reel, 50 pound, oh man, just had a hit, missed it. 50 pound test uh, J braid in there. Luke, another small one. Well, the day has come to an end on the Celtic race. We had a great day. Everybody caught fluke. We caught some borgies. A lot, a lot of fun with a great bunch of guys. I would like to say one thing. My rods kind of got a little screwy in the shipping coming from Daiwa. The guys over at J&H helped me out big time. They made sure they had my rods for me. Jim, yep. thank you so much for getting I my rods. Help. Your Anytime. store is awesome. Anybody, guys, you want a great store to check out, has everything from fresh water to salt water. Check out J&H Tackle. Your web page where they can find you at? JNHTackle.com. Simple enough. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. My rods were delivered to me on the boat, ready to go, rigged and ready. Thank you for taking care of me, Jim. I really appreciate no that. No problem. Anytime.